all right welcome back everyone welcome back to the channel as you guys see in the title storage auction locker clean out today i picked up a locker here for 30 bucks and uh we're going to clean it out so if you guys are ever curious about how storage auctions work and how storage auction lockers look in real life here it is another episode i do have a whole playlist on storage auction lockers that i've cleaned out in the past so if you haven't already make sure to check that out after this video um if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss any more future storage auction videos go ahead and yeah let's just dive into this it's like a five by five locker it should be fun it should be quick straight to the point let's see what we find the storage locker today let's do it the locker we bought paid 30 bucks for this let's see what's inside I know a lot of people do ask about the lock situation. Whenever you bid on a locker, you bring your own lock and you put your lock on, and then you make payment and you come back and take off your lock. So this is my lock. The previous owner's lock has already been removed. Wow. That's it. So I'm really hoping those aren't actually Goya beans and they're actually something in there. You can see by the towels on the right, that doesn't look like towels. Shoes, possibly? Uh, but yeah, I paid 30 bucks on this locker. Let's dig into it. So it looks like there's kind of empty space back there. We got our first box. Don't really know much about that. Empty whiskey bottle, a glove. I don't know why you'd really save that, but. This one's got some. It's either money or it's books. Yep, looks like a lot of books. The Anger Workbook. Real Estate Book. Plumbing. Got a penny. Clint Eastwood, it's a whole thing of books. More books. Here we got a Lee I Valley Phantoms a schedule. Not really worth much. Got a box. Ooh, safety goggles. These sell all right at the flea market. Gloves, work gloves. But you can generally get two for a buck for these, but they sell. What do you got here? No. Oh. Possibly clothes. More gloves. Got more gloves in here. Some peanuts. Pinto beans. this box. It's like a notebook. Sweatshirt. Pro player. It's a vintage one. A vintage in like five late nineties got some thermals. So you probably got another three, four bucks there. So far, it hasn't been very profitable, but generally these lockers have a lot of household stuff. Let's see what's in here. It looks like books, cards, ledger. We got a ledger, some DVDs, Jehovah Witness stuff. All right. All right, so it generally looks like the locker might get a little bit better. We see a bunch of shoes in the back. Possibly clothes up there. I don't know what that is. More clothes maybe, What whatever's in this bin. Check what's in this guy. This is like a grill. A whole bunch of clothes. One thing is you gotta check the pockets on this, make sure there's no money. So you got a couple more bucks there. Uh, so far I'm probably at like $20 in terms of stuff. 
it's really nothing too valuable. You got a bunch of books you might get five or ten bucks for in total clothes. But so far, not a lot of trash. Ooh, this guy feels full. Oh, wow. What's in this guy? Company. It's a fun up shirt. It's a Tommy Hilfiger. This one's weatherproof. This is Tommy. Some more clothes. Belts. So it looks like it's all clothes in that guy. But probably $20, $25 in clothes. The suitcase is probably going to be thrown out because it is broken. But I'll go home and check what else is in there. Gotta check the pockets. Put this box up here. Oh, it's got weight. So we're going to push this to the side. The thing with doing these lockers is you got to be smart with how you pack yourself because I got to take this to the van. I don't want to take too many trips because we're upstairs. But that thing's got some weight. This is just paperwork. This probably just be garbage. What is this? Ozark tree. I don't know. This might be one of those things where you put in the when you do camping. Ozark tree. Not very familiar with outdoor camping, hiking kind of stuff, but this thing is probably not cheap. So, so far this locker is a really good locker. Uh, we'll go through this bin. This one feels kind of heavy. Oh, interesting. Ramen noodles. Full box of food. This stuff isn't expired. Best Buy 130, 2012. I'll donate this to a local food bank. This will go to a good home. I'm not going to just be thrown out. And you got yourselves a nice clean bin. All right, this is the previous owner's lock. So what they do is they usually cut them, which they did here, as you can see, it's probably been, well, oh, is that going to focus? There you go. Yeah, it was cut right there. That's the previous owner's lock. Okay, shoot. That's a rat trap, which I think every, every one I've ever been to, any uh, storage lockers always had that, but we'll see what's in this bin. Looks like more clothes, or more food. Clothes. TVs? No. Jehovah's Witnessed. Oh, right. More of that. Some books. Reading material. A lot of VHSs. That was mac and cheese, not VHS, but these are VHSs. Alright, so I'm going to have to go through all this, make sure there's no money hidden in any of this, but this is probably nothing. But you never know. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. What in the world? I have no idea where that came from. This guy? Nothing in there. Alright. Oh, she's in there somewhere. Seems like a lot of lockers that I clean out have food, clothes, books, generally DVD, CD, some paperwork. Big box right here. Pretty heavy. Can't show what that is. That's going to give me a trouble. Get yourself a nice ace hammer. This is actually a really nice one. Surprisingly, these ace hammers are not cheap. You go to ace, this thing's like 12 or 15 bucks. Another 
another safety vest. And just a bunch of clothes at the bottom. You got some garbage up top. Yeah. All right, so his locker hasn't been too bad. Out. Can't really stand it here. I don't understand. We got some sneakers here. These are, oh, these are made by Red Wing. Might have some value. Don't understand how it's always garbage. Like, you always find random things that garbage. How does. Why does one store empty plastic bottles? What do you got here? You got clothes. Captain Crunch. Oh, this awesome Jansport jacket. Look at this guy. It's pretty vintage. You got Jansport denim with the logo on it. You know, sometimes these older Jansport Columbia, North Face, all that kind of stuff. So it's very, very well online. So something like this, you might be able to get 20, 25 bucks for it. Just for one jacket. This will go through this box. Got a pen, our bottle. These are the shoes I saw. Looks like just more clothes. That's what it is. Got some jeans, got a coffee mug. More clothes. The clothes haven't been too bad with this locker. This looks like more clothes. Sorry. Very well, neatly stacked. More clothes. Looks like. Canyon River. Another vest. Let's try more. This is all his underwear, all underwear and socks. And some t-shirts, t-shirt, jacket, possibly, no dress pants. More t-shirts. Nicely folded, not anymore. <laughs> We got a couple more boxes to go. We got some things hanging out on the side. And these actually file folder. Oh look, we got more books. Would you look at that? We got file folders. Most used file folders, I guess. But we got a uh, Def Leopard, Iron Maiden, Guns and Roses. Got some all classic, all classic time bands. Oh, Def Leopard, Iron Maiden. And the old Guns N' Roses, and a bunch of uh, bunch of books. And here we have a very nice looking trash can. Some winter hat, and all sorts of bottles, and jars. Looks like somebody's uh, all bathroom supplies in there. Probably like their bathroom stuff. All right, in the last corner, this is a box, empty, empty box, bunch of shoes. These are St. John's Bay dress shoes. There's your lock. You got a casino car and like four cents and pennies there. Interesting. Shirts. Shirts, shirts, shirts. What's your block? And these are all books. So you got books all at the bottom. Bunch of books, magazines on top. This is the last box in this corner. Stationary stuff. And more canned food all the way at the bottom. You guys might be able to see canned food. Some mashed potatoes. Get yourself a belt. All that. 
All right. Oh, gee, ow. All right. Jumping in here for the last couple boxes. That just looks like a bunch of files, stuff like that. Yeah, that's what that is. It looks like a whole bunch of jeans. Good flea market item. Jeans sell very well. Two or three bucks a piece. Blow them out like hotcakes. Looks like all clothes in here. This might be a whole bag of gloves. Whole bag of gloves. Some bedding at the bottom. So all my bedding I end up donating to the local animal hospital. That's where that stuff goes. Or not, not the local animal hospital, the local animal shelter. And here we go, the last box of the pick. Oh, little backgammon game. Bunch of binders and folders stuff like that and that guy which is generally a lot of these lockers look exactly like that but uh, overall it was a great locker we picked up a lot of good stuff a lot of clean clothes a lot of vintage clothes uh, stuff that will sell so a lot of times they come across a lot of dirty underwear things like that house goods uh, Tupperware stuff like that it doesn't sell but hey this was a good locker this was definitely worth 30 bucks probably took me about 30 to 40 minutes to clean out not too far of a drive and uh might make 100, 150 off it. So overall, it was another successful day. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoy these treasure hunts, make sure to smack that like button so I know you guys enjoy storage locker videos. Drop a comment below if you guys want to see more storage auction videos just like this where we clean out real authentic lockers just like this as well as the actual auction for itself. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. And well, catch you guys next time. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.